Hello everyone! I know that you guys don't normally see me without any makeup on at all, but I have been working hard to get everything done in my house. My husband and I have been living in this house for about six months now. We just had our housewarming party this past weekend. It was actually on New Year's Eve and it was so much fun. We've been trying to get everything together. Well, I just wanted to give you guys a tour now that just about everything is up. So I'm gonna give you guys a tour and I hope you guys enjoy the tour. Of course, there's gonna be things that we haven't finished yet, but we're still working hard to get it done. I have been wanting to do a home tour video for a while, but I feel like I always wanna do something different. Like I always wanna rearrange something or I always wanna buy something new to add to our collection of home decor. So yeah, I just figure I'll bite the bullet and make this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and hopefully can get some inspiration for your own homes. New house. So I wanted you guys to see what our house looked like before we kind of moved everything in. So that's what those two clips were. And now you'll see what it looks like today. I love this open concept. That's one of my favorite things about this house. And we really wanted to go with a mid-century modern look. And I feel like we achieved that. It's just been really fun decorating everything and going to stores to get the look that we want, and we really feel like today, the house is exactly the way that we want it. The first thing that you'll see is that there's a lot of open space. I wanted you guys to have another view, so I kind of flipped around to the other side of the house. This is what it looks like from the opposite end when you enter from the back door. And like I said, it's a very open concept, which we absolutely loved. And it's so nice being able to be in the kitchen or in the living room, we both can still hang out with each other no matter what we're doing. So I'm gonna take you over here to our entryway table, which I love. It has lots of gold, and you'll see that throughout the house just because I love the gold. These three pieces on the wall are actually for plants, but I haven't gotten any in there yet. You'll also see a lot of pictures that have colorful scenery inside of it just because I love color along with the gold. They kind of tie everything together to me. This little bowl that's on the end of this table, we use it to kind of keep our keys and any extra little items that we don't want to get lost. You'll also see a lot of candles because I love candles. And this is from Magnolia Line, which is from the Gaines family and it's sold at Target. Moving on to the next area of our home, you'll see this plant, which I absolutely love, and it was only $12 at Meijer. I'll try to link something below from Amazon or something that might be a similar price range just because it's a really nice plant that's in our home and you don't have to do too much to keep it alive. Down here, you'll see a few more items. If you watched my wedding haul, you'll see this basket here is actually one that I used with our wedding decorations. We keep books and magazines in there, and we also have a lot of other gold that ties into the gold in that basket up on this mantle. We have this dream sign, and we also have the candle holders, which tie into the fireplace. And I love, as I said, the gold, it all kind of ties everything together. I'm surprised that these candles are not completely gone because they were actually from our wedding, but they still are lasting, surprisingly. Moving on to this picture frame, we actually use this picture frame during our wedding and it has a picture from our engagement session. And this plant here I got from Hobby Lobby. It is not real, it is fake. And this dream sign was also from Hobby Lobby. I thought it would be a nice added touch because we don't have very many decorations with words on them. These bookends were from Target and so was this plant, which also is not real. And that's just how I decorated the mantle. This mirror was actually from our old home and I've absolutely loved having it because it adds some depth to the room. This picture was from Hobby Lobby and I love the gold specks that are in it. 
It really, really is beautiful when you get up close. We kind of wanted to go with the mid-century modern look, as I said, so we got these pillow covers and they've worked wonders because they are the faux leather, which I love. Over here we have a little tray that sits on our coffee table that was made by some friends for us. We also have our guest book that we had at our wedding and we keep that on our coffee table just for a talking piece and it's nice to read through occasionally just to see all the things that our friends and family said to us on our special day. You can see there's lots of things written here. We also have my husband's book from college which has a lot of different pictures from when he played football and some memories from college with the athletic team. So that's a really good talking piece as well. Oh, hey there, buddy. He's so cute. Over here we have this lamp, which is from Target, and it sheds a lot of light in this room, which I love. And I love the tripod look as well. And over here to the side, we have this little ottoman. I think that's what it's called and these gold pillows you can see that I tried to tie the gold in wherever possible and they're so soft and cozy and the chair is really comfortable underneath here I just keep all of our dogs dog toys and we keep all of them in here just so that they're not all over the house eventually I'll get something else to put them in up here we have this wine holder that we received from a friend of ours when we lived in Missouri and these curtains were from Target. They kind of have gold specks in them if you look up close, which I really like, because you know that I love the gold. And then we have these sheer curtains that kind of keep more of the light out, and so we keep them behind the other gold curtains. Over here, we plan to use this as kind of a bar, and I plan to put a few things up here and here, and hanging on this area like mugs maybe add a coffee bar along with the alcohol i just have a few ideas for that so that's something that's still in the works so that's all for our living room Now this is one of my favorite places in our home. It's so cute. This little sign is a good reminder to always give thanks and it was actually here when we moved in. I love the kitchen and the gold handles that are on each of the cabinets, along with this chalkboard wall that was already here. Hello. I love writing things here. I have some ideas for what to write here in the new year and we just keep our dog stuff down there. Over here is our fridge, and we keep our microwave on that side as well. I like to tie in some of the red in the kitchen, like the microwave and the Keurig. We got this little towel from my husband's sister for Christmas, along with the sugar and salt containers, and both of those are from Target from the Magnolia line. This Keurig matches our microwave, as I said, and I love that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the kitchen. Moving over here, I'm gonna take you outside. I love our backyard and all the trees that we have. They're so mature and so tall and absolutely beautiful. I love our backyard and we have a lot of ideas for what we wanna do. We already have a fire pit, but we kind of want to make the fire pit a little bit taller than it is. And yeah, those are just a couple ideas. Moving on to the dining room, it's just an absolutely beautiful space. I love being able to decorate with all of our wedding decorations that we use. It just brings back such great memories. You'll see that a lot of these are from our wedding, and if you check out our wedding haul video, you can see where we got them from. I love lighting candles, as you can see, and I love using that on our table on this runner. On this wall, I got this picture from my mom. We moved in along with our dining room table. It was gifted to us. This picture over here, 
The iron one was from my husband's grandmother. Over here, this china cabinet was also gifted to us as a set from my parents. And I love that the chandelier with the table and the cabinet just looks so beautiful together. I can put all my wine glasses in there along with my serving trays and it's just a nice place to store our beautiful items. If you go down this hallway, you'll see this beautiful sign that I received from my sister. It has our wedding date on it and it's so cute. To the left is our guest room and I tried to make it a little bit more rustic versus the mid-century modern. A lot of these decorations came from Hobby Lobby. It has the two closet doors and it has a lot of space in there for guests to hang things up. Down here, I got this fake plant from Hobby Lobby. This picture stand we received from my husband's sister and she used it as decoration for her wedding. And I love being able to display all the pictures for our guests of events and family members from throughout the years. Up here, this love never fails sign and let all that you do be done in love sign. Along with the live, laugh, love sign, they were all from Hobby Lobby and they're very affordable. Along with these pillows here that also came from Hobby Lobby. As you can see, the teal color kind of all ties in together. Over here, you can see that this white comforter is so comfy and so soft. And this sign with the flowers on it, we received from Brady's grandmother. Down here, this sign my little sister got for me, and I think it's so, so cute. Along with the lampshade that I've had for quite some time that also was purchased from Hobby Lobby. So most of these items were actually from Hobby Lobby. Along with the things on this stand this little holder came from my sister and she made it for me which i thought was really cute and it ties in with all the colors in this room over here i've just put out a few items for guests if they want to take a bath or want to use things for their face or have homemade soap along with these flowers just to add a nice little touch this picture was also from hobby lobby along with this welcomes chalk sign and this little trinket here. It was gifted to me from a good friend of mine and she recognized that I love jewelry and I thought it was a good place to hang everything. You can see that my glasses and my necklaces and bracelets and earrings are all hung there. So that is our guest room. Moving over here is more of our din area and it's still a work in progress as you can see. We did get some pictures on the wall which I like and I love the plant that's over on the side there. That plant is the same one that's in our living room. Over here on this desk there's lots of pictures and candles as you can see I love candles. All these frames were from Hobby Lobby. I love Hobby Lobby's frames because they're so different, so unique, and I feel like it really worked well with the rustic feel that we wanted to kind of move in from the guest room into the den. Over here, there's lots of pictures, and oh my gosh, this book my husband got for me. It's called Adventures in Petlandia. Bane lived in Chatham and dreamt of being a star with his very own TV show, and he was very cute and furry, made stardom rather tough, especially as the only words he knew were woof and rough. Feeling brave, he folded up his PJs and flannel along with some ideas for Bane's YouTube channel. How cute! He kissed Shaughnessy and Brady and he went on to stardom and it's such a cute book. If you want to create a book for your pet, you can go to, I think it's Petlandia. Let's see, the back here. www.petlandia.com and I think these adventure books are so cute. Moving on to the bathroom, you'll see a lot of decoration from our wedding, like this bowl. I used a lot of gold and white in here and I wanted it to be more neutral. I love these soap dispensers and I got that little ring holder from my mom. I like all the decoration in here just because it's very neutral. And then over here, there's just 
lots of pictures from sporting events that I've been to with my husband. Oh, hello there. And there's a love sign that came from Hobby Lobby. And over here, this little trash can I got from Target. Lots of gold, trying to incorporate it in every room. And then the shower curtain is just a neutral color and I got that from Target as well. The bedroom is the last room in the house that I'm gonna show you guys. And I love how cozy it is. And I love all the neutral colors, the golds, all of that just kind of ties together with the rest of the house. We got this comfor comforter as a gift from my husband's parents. And this small blanket that's on the side of the bed is one that keeps us warm. We don't want to get under the comforter. The nightstands came from Target along with these lamps. And they're so cute because they have the gold in them as well. You can see that I love the gold. I actually put these together, so I kind of felt pretty good about myself. These mirrors were from Home Goods, and they both match. And all of these decorations on this wall were from Hobby Lobby, except for the canvas picture that came from my cousin and the artwork that came from Target on the far left corner. Over here, you'll see the identical pieces that are on the left side, the lamp, the nightstand, and the mirror, and it all ties together just to look cohesive and cozy and unique, and I love it. We have an ensuite bathroom here as well, and I love the colors that are in here. It's lots of grays, and it is a little different from the bathroom that guests use, which I like. It doesn't completely have the same colors. I love all the stoneware, and that was all from Target, and the small Mr. and Mrs. bowl we received from a good friend of ours during our engagement. These towels were also from Target. As you can see, I love Target, along with this shower curtain. And this little basket here, I just used to keep all of my body sprays. These two signs were here when we moved in, but I decided to keep them because they were so cute. And this little trash can also came from Target. I've been working really hard to get everything done and I'm so happy that just about everything is finished. There's still some pictures that I want to get up and there's still a few more things that I want to get done. Like our garage. It's a two car garage and I love it but there's some shelving that's in there that needs to be kind of finished so we can put stuff up on the walls for storage. And our backyard is huge and I absolutely love it. But there's a few more things that I want to finish out there. But yeah, overall, we're basically done with everything and I'm so, so happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely subscribe if you guys like the content and like this video as well. Put some comments below about what were your favorite items that you guys saw. I'm gonna try to link a lot of the items. Most of it's from Target, so if I didn't link it, go look at Target and you'll probably find it there. This is my first video of the new year and I'm so happy that this could be the first video that I share with you guys now that we've finished everything in our home. I'm gonna be posting two videos a week. Oh gosh, can you tell I've been working to get everything done? Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. But yeah, I'm gonna post two videos a week. So definitely click the little bell next to the subscribe button if you are subscribed to this channel because that bell will alert you when I post new posts and I want you guys to be able to see the videos right away. A lot of the items that I post, like home decor or clothing, might sell out quickly, so the faster you see the video, the faster you can purchase the items. So, have a great day, I hope you guys enjoyed, and catch me in the next one. Bye!